Welcome back. Well, we're dealing with some showers and storms marching across the southern half of the viewing area this morning. Now, they have been giving us some pretty impressive lightning displays this morning as well, too. So if you've woken up to that, that's the reason. We do have some of these stronger cells, mainly to the south of Junction City, pushing through Morris County right now. Council Grove, you're getting hit with uh, quite a heavy little thunderstorm there right now. And we do have kind of a spotty nature to these showers and storms more like heavier pockets of rainfall here and there, mainly in our southern areas this morning, and those are going to continue to stay to the south for us. So I do want to show you our high resolution future track model right now, starting this at 7 a.m. You can see it's picking up on those southerly rain showers and storms very well for us this morning. And as we head throughout the next several hours, mainly into the mid morning around lunchtime, that's when we should start to see these dissipate and start to clear on off to the east for us, leaving us with clearing skies throughout the rest of the afternoon today and that's really going to allow things to warm up for us. And I do want to take a look outside at our Emporia camera right now. They did have some rain showers passing through. You could see those that the rain shafts really lit up by that lightning that just popped up there. I'm really glad that that happened. I don't have the best luck showing lightning on our tower cams, but I'm having some good luck this morning. Temperatures right now are in mainly the low to mid 60s to the north and into the low 70s to the south where we do have that warmer air feeding those showers and thunderstorms this morning. Now as we head throughout the rest of the daytime today, temperatures will start to heat up for us. We do have temperatures starting off. It is picking up very well on what the temperatures are right now and heading into the afternoon. We will start to warm up even further with temperatures cooler in the north and warmer in the south because we do have a stalled uh, a boundary that's really keeping us warmer further to the south and cooler further to the north. So temperatures mainly south of I-70 will warm up into the mid to upper 80s, maybe some low 90s, but further to the north will be in the low to mid 80s, I think for the most part. Heading into the daytime tomorrow, we all will start to warm up into the mid to upper 80s, possibly some low 90s as well. And same thing goes for Tuesday. It's almost a repeat day of Monday for Tuesday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Now we will start to see more in the way of humidity as well, especially heading into this afternoon. So I want to show you our future heat index. This is what it's going to feel like outside as we head throughout the daytime hours today. Our feels like temperatures mainly south of I-70 will be in the low to mid 90s. So it's going to be a hot and sticky day for us, especially in our southern communities. Much drier air is actually in our northern counties throughout the day today. So it's going to be much more comfortable in places like Hiawatha, Seneca, Marysville, and Concordia. So once we head throughout the next several days, though, that humidity starts to overtake much of northeast Kansas. So it's going to feel like it's in the low to mid 90s throughout the daytime hours tomorrow. And same thing goes for Tuesday as well. So once we get through the next several days, we do have quite a warm weather pattern setting up at least through the middle part of the week. Temperatures our actual air temperatures will be in the upper 80s and low 90s all the way through Thursday. But then we'll have some more significant chances for rain. Well, I wouldn't say significant. I'll just say better chances for rain as we go throughout the daytime on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we do have a cold front that'll push through on Thursday, and that'll knock our temperatures back into the upper 70s and low 80s for Friday and Saturday. I'm kind of looking forward to the rain for some reason. I am too. I feel like it's been a very wet summer, but we've yep. had quite a break from the rain over the last couple of we weeks. Have. So I kind of want a gloomy, cloudy, rainy type of day. Well, yeah. Maybe like even a, a whole weekend. Yeah. <laughs>